Hi folks, it's Bob from Mountain Crest Farm. How y'all doing this morning? You know, I'm going to be noon shooting these before too long. It's getting light later and later and later. It's about 8 o'clock Monday morning now. Y'all are seeing this on Tuesday. Piss ant bit me on the elbow and it's itching. Um, let's see, where was I? Y'all are seeing this Tuesday morning. I'm making the video Monday morning. And it's about 8 o'clock. Maybe a little bit before. Not much. You know, I was making these, seems like about 6.30, 7 o'clock. Not that long ago. It's getting light later and later and later. I think it's, I think they say... Time changes, your daylight changes about two hours a day. Excuse me, not two hours a day. Two minutes a day. Uh, minute in the morning, minute in the evening. So, uh, by the end of this month, by the end of August, 30 days later, that's 30 minutes changing the time. So, yeah, I'm going to be making these later and it's going to be hotter when I make them. This morning's pretty nice. Uh, yeah, a little bit of blue up there, but mostly mostly clouds. Not gray, gonna rain any minute clouds, just just overcast enough to hopefully keep it cool today. I know it's cool right now and it's damp. Uh, we had a little bit of rain overnight, not, not much, but enough to, everything's damp out here. But it's gonna make feeding the pigs fun. Oh, me. Y'all are seeing this. Tuesday morning. I'm making this video Monday morning. Y'all might not have a video Wednesday morning because tomorrow morning, Tuesday morning, or tomorrow morning from when I'm making this, this morning from when you're watching this, Tuesday, uh, I'll be at the hospital. I've got, uh, got to have a CT scan of my chest and an MRI of my abdominal cavity. Nothing problems nothing coming up not having issues that have to find out what the problem is um, when you're a cancer patient or actually I'm not considered a cancer patient anymore I am a cancer survivor but uh, when you're dealing with cancer they keep an eye on you for a pretty good close eye on you for a good long time they tell me I've got to have uh, MRI every three months for at least two maybe as much as five years and that's all tomorrow is i'm just going for my every three month mri this will be the second post-surgery and post-radiation mri first one was clean this one's going to be clean too <coughs> but anyway y'all are seeing this on tuesday and if you don't see one on wednesday don't get worried it just means I didn't get one done. I'm going to try to get one done tomorrow when I get home from the hospital, but there'll be things to do around here, pigs to take care of. Gosh, that itch is where that ant bit me. Um, but there'll be stuff to do. I'm not sure I'll get one done. But if you see one Wednesday, I got another one done. If you didn't, well, there'll be one Thursday. Because I'll do one Wednesday morning. <laughs> For Thursday. Oh me. Um, this morning's topic is about a video y'all saw two days ago. Um, I just want to thank y'all for the input on that uh, video I did talking about live streaming and super chats and all like that. If anybody's seeing this and missed that right up here in the corner I'll link back to that video. Um, watch it and answer the questions if you would i'd sure appreciate it um i i don't just check uh comments on stuff that's you know 24 to 48 hours old some people when you when you get thousands and thousands of subscribers and hundreds and hundreds of comments most people cut it off they don't answer anything over 48 hours old well <laughs> i'm not that big time uh I answer as many comments as I can, and I'll continue to do that as long as I can. So if y'all would, anybody that didn't see that video and didn't comment on the one about live streaming and 
uh, super chats if you would go back and watch the video and um, give me your input because it is really important to me I, the people who have answered the questions I really appreciate that and the people who haven't please go do so because that uh, the input is important to how I do this channel because this channel isn't done for me I like doing the videos um, but I don't do them for me, I do them for y'all. And I can't, if I'm going to do them for y'all, it needs to be something y'all enjoy. And is hopefully a little bit informational too. But I can't make them enjoyable, and I can't make them informational, not information to do you any good, if I don't know what it is you want to enjoy, or what it is you want information on. So, if you would, go back to that video. Like I say, it's linked up there in the corner. I'll, I'll even link it again, right here. Um, go back and watch that video and uh, give me some input on what I've got planned. What else do I have planned? Well, I'm a pig farmer, right? Fixing to be more of a pig farmer than I thought I was. Somebody called me over the weekend and uh, said they had some pigs they had to get rid of. Um, hang on a second, I'll be right back. I'm back. Sorry about that, folks. I had to try to get this elbow to quit itching, but it's not doing any good. It's already itching again. I hope I've got some Benadryl in the house. I'm back. Sorry about that, folks. I had to try to get this elbow to quit itching, but it's not doing any good. It's already itching again. I hope I've got some Benadryl in the house, preferably a Benadryl pill, if not at least some Benadryl cream to, or ointment to put on it thing is driving me nuts. Little old bitty ant. Little old bitty piss ant. <sighs> driving me nuts. But anyway, had uh, somebody, I, I sold a boar. I, I raised registered large black pigs. And I had sold a boar a couple of years ago to another farm about 100 miles from here. Uh, sort of a hobby farm for a guy that's a He's a doctor. He's the medical examiner for Houston County, Georgia. That's Houston, not Houston. Houston County, Georgia, um, down around Macon. And he raises llamas and alpacas and large black pigs and what else? Uh, Wagyu beef. Anyway, Doc had a stroke about five and a half months ago, and for five and a half months they've been hoping he'd get back to where he could he's retired hoping he'd get back to where he could deal with the farm and they still hope he can but it's turning out to be slower than they thought so they're having to cut back on some of their animals and <coughs> they called me and asked me if i wanted some registered pigs for next to nothing um they just needed to move, get them off the farm and they had the boar i sold them uh, a couple of years ago, which I don't need. I've got a boar. You don't want two boars on a property. Not unless you've got a lot of property. That's a fight. Um, they had the boar I sold them a couple of years ago, and they had another boar, so they could uh, have two lines going, two genetic lines going on the farm. And they had a sow, a proven sow, which I needed. Um, because my herd queen had a careless hunter killed her back in November. And I hadn't done anything to replace her because we didn't know I was going to be around. I mean, she was killed about the same time I was diagnosed. And if Bob was going to go away, the pigs were going to go away. So we didn't try to replace her. But now I'm trying to replace her. And uh, they call and they've got this the sow that would work Genetics would work really good with the boar I've got. But the deal is, if I take the sow, I've got to take the boars. I can't bring two boars onto this property. I can't bring one more boar onto this property. So I've been scrambling all weekend trying to rehome those two boars. If anybody out there wants to raise large black pigs and wants full-grown, proven, performing boars with Excellent genetics, registered boars. Let me know. I've got two that I'll rehome. Uh, yeah, 
I don't know, proven boards worth $450 and up, I let these go for $100, $150 a piece. I just can't bring them to this property. But I've got to take them to get the sow that I want. So if anybody wants a couple of large black pig boars, and we are talking, uh, large black pigs are large. Uh, these boars will probably go about 900 pounds a piece. But here's a way to get into it inexpensively. And you know I'm big on frugal. <laughs> but uh, so I'm going to wind up with a new sow to go with one unregistered large black pig sow and two purebred Berkshires, I'll be about full up. Uh, oh, and then there, there's one there's one hybrid in there. There's one large black Berkshire hybrid in there. So, you know when I started this? I started this to have one sow. And then I realized that you couldn't afford a boar to service just one sow. Your expenses would be way too high. So then I was going to have three sows. That way I wouldn't be making any money, but it wouldn't be costing me any money. I could help the large black pig breed because they're critically endangered and not have to reach in my pocket and put free, free pork in the freezer. Well, looks like I'm going to be up to five sows, one boar, and producing about 150 piglets a year. We were at 80, 80 to 100. But now it looks like we're gonna be producing about 150 piglets a year. Uh, some of it large black registered stock for breeding. Not a lot. Even if I was producing nothing but large blacks, 150 large blacks, there might be four or five in there that are good for breeding. The rest of them would you don't breed pigs that are fine for raising for meat, but there aren't any good for breeding. You only want to continue good traits. And out of 150 piglets a year, maybe four or five would be good breeders. And since half of mine are going to be hybrids, large black Berkshire hybrids, out of the other half, that means I'll get two or three breeders a year. But that helps continue the breed. Um, that was one of my main reasons for choosing large blacks, was continuation of a breed that is critically endangered. But anyway, looks like I'm gonna be breeding a lot more pigs than I meant to. If anybody wants a piglet to raise for meat, I'm your man. If anybody wants to raise large black pigs and you need a boar, I'm your man. And if anybody wants to raise large black pigs and you need a gilt, that's an unbred female, uh, they become sow, they're gilts until they're bred and then they're sows. Uh, not real soon, but I'm your man on that too. So if anybody wants pigs, give me a call. That's about all I've got for y'all today. Um, biggest thing, well, two big things. Excuse me. The first big thing. Don't worry about it, but. If you miss a video tomorrow, I'm okay. I'm just going for some tests. Second big thing, please, please, if you haven't already done so, go back to that video, and I'll link it one more time right up here. Go back and watch that video, and give me your thoughts on the questions I asked in that video about live streaming. I really want to do live streams that are not just done to be doing live streams, but that are being done for y'all to get something out of it. And if I'm gonna do it so y'all can get something out of it, it needs to be something you want. So please go answer those questions. Until I see y'all, maybe tomorrow, maybe the next day. Depends on whether or not I get another video out after tests at the hospital. Until I see y'all, y'all have a fantastic day. I'm going to, no matter what. I always have a fantastic day. I refuse to have any kind of day except a fantastic day. Uh, how you feel is a choice. I think I've told you all that before. You can choose to feel great. You can choose to feel like crap. Physically, you don't have any choice. Between your ears, how you feel is a choice. Choose to have a good day. Choose to have a bad day. 
I choose to have fantastic days. I hope you all do too. And always remember, number one, the tomb was empty. Number two, he is alive. And he's on your side, by the way. I'll see you all in the next video. Have a great day.